Here we are back in the watch shop with our watchmaker, Benjamin Lamb. Benjamin um, and George Reed is with me. Often gets asked if uh, somebody, how often someone needs to have their watch worked on. And George and I get the same question all the time. And, and if you ask the three of us, you'll probably get three different answers. So we figured we'd give it a shot. Um, George? When should you get your watch worked on? Um, most of the brands recommend every three to five years. Um, there's been a couple of brands lately that have pushed that out to like a five to seven year kind of a thing. But um, realistically, the way I've always looked at it, the watch will let you know. Um, these are motors, they want to run. Um, it's like an old motorcycle. If it's running good, don't crack the cases. Just let it do, let it, let it do yeah, its thing. We all know what happens when we crack the case or try to fix the carburetor <laughs> or just thought about like cleaning the points a little bit. Remember those days? The, the points, points, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Ben, um, show us uh, this machine that you hook it up to here. Tell us what that does. Well, this is a, a um, Tommen machine uh, by uh, Vichy. Um, it will detect the amplitude. The amplitude is the motion of the balance wheel to see how strong the um, the balance uh, swing. So it's going uh, this measuring it actively while we speak. Yeah. And then what happened here with this little downturn? Is that when? Uh, well, as you can see, this up. line here is showing the. It's moving up, that means it's fast. You can tell it's seven oh, okay. seconds a day. Fast? Fast, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the amplitude is 210, uh, uh, which mean? is low. Okay. Uh, normally, is recommend uh, 270 to 300. So this watch so. might start to act up, or it may be acting up now. Yeah. Since this is Oliver's personal watch, i.e. me, uh, I'm yeah. the last guy to get it fixed, <laughs> but um, you know, uh, my, uh, well Ben, then what's your uh, professional opinion as to when you repair a watch? Do you need to have it checked uh, periodically or do you, what, what's your opinion? Well, normally, uh, I mean, it recommends every uh, three to five years. Uh, if you're run into your watch running slow or fast, uh, you just bring it in so we can put it on the timing machine and test it. So, yeah. Um, and if, if, he is, if he's, um, the other thing that really makes it uh, for a lot of guys that have watches is that if it stops, then you have to get it fixed. Yeah. If it's still working and it seems to be losing a little bit of time, um, and you don't want to fix it, you can wait, but eventually you're going to have yeah. to give it a service. And the problem with servicing these watches and different than some other uh, pieces of machinery is that this watch has to be taken apart. This is about 180 parts for this Minerva watch, which um, George is wearing, uh, the sister watch. So, you know, if Ben's got to figure out what's wrong with this piece and it was a broken part, he has to take it all apart and put it all back together. So it's not like just taking off the alternator or the water pump. Uh, that's why it's expensive and that's why it takes a lot of time. It's the equivalent of rebuilding your motor to change the oil. Yeah. Now it, it seems excessive, but it is the most efficient way to get your watch up, running and back to you as quickly and efficiently as possible. So there's no real concrete answer to that question when you should get your watch serviced. Um, my feeling is on it, if it's running fine, as George said earlier, uh, enjoy it. And uh, if you have a problem later, bring it in and get it serviced. Yeah, come in, we can check it out for you. And, We're happy uh, to recommend. Benjamin's your man on, on the spot here, so he'd be happy to take care of it for you. Thank you very much for listening. Thanks.